we will next look into uh, a new topic which is known as data converters. Now, as we know that any uh, digital system that we are designing, so ultimately uh, it is going to be used uh, in the environment where it has to interact with the analog signals. Like if we are looking into say a temperature controlling system, so the temperature is an analog value and there are sensors which will be sensing the temperature and that, uh, sensor, that sensing will convert the physical signal into some electrical signal. So, it may be converting the temperature value into uh, some current or voltage value, but that is an analog value. But in case of um, uh, these computers that we have, so they can process only digital value. So, we have to convert it into some digital value. So, that way uh, there may be some error introduced in the process like uh, maybe when the temperature is 40 degree Celsius, so it uh, outputs some voltage. So, uh, if it is ex it is expected that say uh, if from 40 to 45, so the next temperature sense is 45. So, according to the voltage value increases, so the, then that conversion to digital from this voltage to this digital value. So, that should be uh, equivalent to if we are going from say 20 to 25 degree change. So, the amount of 5 degree change that we have, the corresponding uh, if the sensor that we have, so it gives uh, a, a good reflection of it in terms of uh, analog signal, analog voltage and if we assume that the analog signal change is equivalent to the change in the physical signal, then from this analog signal to digital signal conversion that should also be proportional. So, uh, we need to have some special circuitry that will be doing this uh, conversion of data like when the computer wants to read some analog value from the environment, so it has to be some uh, it, uh, it has to be converted from analog to digital. Similarly, if uh, the computer wants to control some uh, system, so by actual by uh, giving some uh, electrical signal to, so for example, some motor has to be rotated. So, motor has to be given some uh, voltage with which it will understand how at, at which speed it has to rotate. But this uh, computer cannot output the voltage directly, so analog voltage directly. So, it will output some digital value and then that digital value has to be converted into uh, analog signal before giving it to the uh, motor. So, this type of data converters are necessary when we are uh, interfacing a uh, digital system with the environment. So, in this part of the course, so we will be looking into two such uh, converter mechanism, one is called digital to analog converter or DAC and another is known as analog to digital converter or ADC. So, we can say that a typical uh, diagram uh, for this entire system is like this that we have got this uh, as the digital system. So, this is the digital system that we have and from the outside world, so we are getting the analog signal, we are getting the analog uh, signal and it passes through something called analog to digital converter. So, this is the ADC and then this this value is the digital. So, this is the digital value that we have and here we have got the analog value. And after doing the processing this digital system it outputs some digital value and that digital value has to be converted to analog before it is given to the environment. So, this is one digital to analog converter and then this is the analog signal. So, this is the analog signal that we get. Okay. So, this is how this whole system will work. Okay. Uh, so, we need to understand these two circuitries, this DAC circuitry and ADC circuitry because they become uh, a very important part of uh, this interfacing this digital system to the analog environment. So, how do we do that? So, that we will see. Now, the first, uh, they are two distinct uh, type of converter. So, we will first look into the digital to analog converter. So, which will convert the digital signal to the analog output. So, what is DAC? A digital to analog converter, it converts a digital signal to an analog voltage or current output. So, uh, because uh, voltage and current they are they do not cause much of problem because if we get a current output also, so we can pass it through a resistance and then measure it the corresponding voltage. So, as a result this current and voltage, so these two outputs uh, any of these outputs are okay with us. So, if you give some, so if, if this is the digital to analog converter block and you are giving an input like say 100101 etcetera, some bit pattern is fed. So, it is expected that it will be outputting some 
analog signal so it may be some uh, for the sake of understanding so i have drawn a sinusoidal signal here but it may be it, it is definitely dependent on the bit pattern that you are feeding here accordingly you can generate some uh, analog signal this point of course uh, you can you can feed this bit pattern in such a fashion that the output signal is a sinusoidal signal or a square signal or a triangular signal whatever we want so whatever control signal is needed for controlling the device that is connected to this analog signal so we can uh, produce that signal accordingly so so this is the digital input signal so that may be uh, we are outputting from 0000, 0000 to 1011 and on the analog output signal so it increases like this so when it is uh, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000 so output is also 0 when the input is 0001 so output is this much 0010 output is this much so this is the behavior of the dsc so at this count values 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000 0010 so it will be outputting this corresponding voltages of course it is not a continuous signal because in between what happens so these points are not known so this is basically by means of some approximation or uh, we can we can uh, visualize it as a continuous signal like that now if you look into this types of this digital to analog converter so there are many types of dscs that are available and they are usually switches resistances and oper operational amplifiers they are used to do this conversion and there are uh, we will be looking into two types of DS, uh, dsc one is known as binary weighted resistor and r2 r ladder type resistor okay. so uh, as i said that the main com com main uh, components of a dsc they are switches resistances and some operational amplifiers they, they will be used for getting the analog output the first uh, binary uh, so first uh, digital to analog converter that we will look into is the binary weighted resistor based digital to analog converter so it utilizes a summing operational amplifier circuitry so what we mean by a summing operational amplifier is so operational amplifier is some circuit like this i hope you are familiar with uh, this uh, diagram so uh, basically it, uh, some input is given uh, the, it takes a differential input and this amplifier has got a gain of a so what is the uh, difference between these two voltages if we call it v diff then the output is a into v diff so ideal operational amplifier this a is infinity so this value will go to infinity so if uh, on the other hand we can have some uh, feedback to control the gain and as you know that uh, there are two types of uh, inter two types of organizations of this amplifier for using op, op amp so one is called inverting amplifier another is called non inverting amplifier so this uh, they have got particular gain expression which is less than infinity for example if we are having this inverting type operational amplifier so the circuit diagram is like this so if we apply v in here and then if this resistance is say um, r1 and this resistance is say r2 then this v out value is given by minus of r2 by r1 into v in so from this infinity gain so we can restrict we can control this gain of the circuit now this type of uh, operator so if i have got a number of voltage sources so v in 1 then v in 2 v in 3 like that so they can be added here the successive terms can be added here and then it gives rise to something called this summing operational amplifier so we'll see some circuitry on that however so this so weighted resistors are used to distinguish each bit from the most uh, from the most significant to the least significant bit so each bit will contribute to some value for uh, in, into the output so most significant bit its contribution will be high that is if the most significant bit is 1 so it will contribute significantly to the output uh, voltage or current uh, so if you go down and look into the successive bits their contribution will be less and uh, lesser and lesser so the least significant bit it will have the minimum contribution and that way it will go so transistors are used uh, to switch between vref and ground which is uh, um, uh, bit high and low so vref is the reference voltage which is taken which is taken as this high value and uh, low is the ground so that is taken as the zero value 
so this is the structure you can say so uh, each of these uh, bits that we have so each of these lines so they constitute one bit fine so you, you can see that uh, we have we have got uh, uh, we have got this uh, operational amplifier where this bit, so if it is, uh, so this bit, so if I connect it to this point, so this V ref, the current that is uh, drawn by, drawn by this is V ref divided by R. So, say similarly, when it is, when this switch is connected to say this point, then the current drawn will be V ref divided by 2R. So, as a result, the contribution from the first, uh, um, uh, if this switch is connected here, the, the contribution that is coming on to this line is the current value is V ref divided by R. And if we connect this line to here, if it is connected like this, then the contribution is V ref divided by 2R. So, this contribution is uh, less than this one. Okay. So, as you go down and down, so, what happens is that this contribution becomes exponentially less. So, whatever be the contribution here, current contribution, so this has got half of that, this has got half of that. Finally, the nth bit, it will have the, uh, the component, the contribution reduced by a factor of 2 to the power n. So, if we assume this uh, operational amplifier to be an ideal operational amplifier, so no current flows into this uh, op amp. So, whatever current comes like this, it passes like this, fine. So, you can say that V out is given by I into R f. So, V out is given by I into R f. So, we can try to figure out what is the value of I and based on that we can find out what is the voltage that is coming as the output. So, let us see. So, this I as I was telling this I into R f. So, this expression for I so, it has got uh, this uh, V1 by R for the most significant bit, V2 by 2, uh, so, uh, so, so, so uh, V1 is the uh, most significant bit. So, it is uh, the and Vn is the less, least significant bit. So, whatever be coming here as voltage, so this is uh, given by V1 by R. So, at this point if the voltage is V1, so it is V1 by R second one is V2, so it is getting V2 by 2R, then third one is V3, so V3 by 4R, last one if it is Vn, so Vn by 2 to the power n minus 1 into R. So, this is, um, so this way it is uh, reduced. So, this should be 2 to the power n R, not 2 to the power n minus R, n minus 1. So, this is, uh, So, there are uh, n such cases, so it is uh, like this. So, V n is the least significant bit and then it is uh, V n divided by 2 to the power n into r. Now, if we, uh, so if r f equal to say r by 2, so if we take r f equal to r by 2, then this V out equal to minus i into r f, so which is V 1 by 2 plus V 2 by 2 plus uh, V 3 by 8 up to V n by 2 to the power n. So, then, then we can say that uh, this, uh, uh, if we have got say 4 bit converter, then this, this V 1 is nothing but uh, V ref, uh, this V 1, V 2, V 3, so they are all equal to V ref. So, this V ref is taken out. Now, depending upon this B 3, B 2, B 1 and uh, B 0, this bit pattern, so this contribution will be coming. So, you can say in this diagram, you see that if I, if I connect this point to here, then V 2 becomes equal to 0. If I connect this point here, then the V2 becomes equal to uh, V ref. Okay. So, that way we can say that uh, this V1, V2, these voltages can be either equal to V ref or equal to 0 and that is controlled by the position of this switch. So, when the switch is connected to this, we can say that the corresponding bit is equal to 1 and when the switch is connected to this position, so we can say the corresponding bit is equal to 0. So, here if I take uh, say B 3 equal to 1 that is the most significant bit is connected to is equal to 1. So, it is getting the contribution V ref V 1 equal to V ref in that case. So, uh, in the second uh, second one if B 2 is uh, not uh, second bit is uh, not connected. So, B 2 is uh, second bit is uh, second uh, switch is connected to ground. So, that means B 2 is equal to 0. So, in that situation this B 2 being equal to 0. So, V ref contribution does not have anything to kind of uh, here uh, V 2 becomes equal to 0. 
so the, because of this b2 into v ref so b2 being equal to 0 so this uh, v, uh, the value of v2 becomes equal to 0 similarly if the third bit is equal to 1 then this v3 becomes again equal to v ref and if this nth uh, so if the least significant bit b0 is equal to 0 then uh, this contribution v4 uh, so that will become equal to 0 so b3 corresponds to b3 b2 corresponds to b2 like that so that way we can have a binary weighted register based structure for uh, getting this v out so dep depending upon the uh, digital value that you feed it you feed in b0 b1 b2 b3 the value of v out will get determined so what are the advantages so it's a simple construction and analysis so uh, simple because you just need a couple of resistance uh, resistances and then connect it some some fashion conversion process is quite fast because uh, it is uh, all the all the comparisons are being done simultaneously so the comparison so the conversion process is also fast but there are disadvantages because requires large range of resistors like for 12 bit dac so for 12 bit dac so you can understand if you look into this diagram so this is uh, going from yeah, so, so it is going from r 2r 4r up to 2 to the power 12 r okay so 2 to the power 12 is uh, 4096 r so if you take even if you take r equal to 1 okay if you take r equal to 1 then this is equal to 2 so this is equal to 4 so you need all these resistors like 1 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor so like that up to 4096 ohm resistors so getting resistances of this exact values is a problem or getting resistances in this ratio is also a problem so that uh, makes it difficult for uh, this realization of this uh, uh, this binary weighted dac so with necessary high precision of low resistor so it is difficult requires low switch resistances in transistors so this uh, transistors that we have taken so this resistance is actually coming so this uh, switches they are actually uh, realized by uh, some uh, transistors like if it is a mos transistor so this is uh, con the connection is like this So this point is connected to V ref. This is connected to ground, and we have got a switch. So this is connected to the digital bit B. So if B equal to one, then V ref gets connected here. If V ref B equal to zero, then this ground gets connected here. So the problem is that this uh, channel resistance that also comes in the uh, series in series with the resistor so here i have got that r resistor okay, so this is the r resistor finally going to this uh, side and finally going to that op amp so this r so this uh, channel resistances they will come in series with this r resistance so with this channel resistances should also be uh, pretty low so that we don't have uh, we don't have problem in getting the proper uh, resistance values implemented so that is the point so this uh, switch resistances uh, should be low and it can be expensive because of this uh, getting the, these resistances of uh, good uh, precision particularly the resistors which have got low values getting them with good good um, high precision may be uh, costly therefore so it is usually limited to 8 bit resolution you do not go for 12 bit and all so you normally keep it within 8 bit resolution Another type of um, uh, DAC which is pretty co uh, common which is known as R2R ladder. So here you need only two types of resistors, one is of value R, other is of value 2R. So unlike the previous case where you are requiring a series of uh, resistance values, so here that is not required. So you require R2R ladder type of R, R and 2R resistances and they are connected in this fashion. So from VREF we make it R, R, R and finally there is a resistor 2R. And so, so this uh, this is a 4 bit converter. So we have got three such resistance R in series, and then a 2 R resistor in series. And then uh, uh, from this point, so we take down, take the 2 R resistance, and take it down. Now this depending upon the bit uh, configuration. So either uh, this uh, this is connected to uh, uh, ground, 
or it is connected to this one this uh, this, uh, this uh, the so this uh, point which is uh, uh, it may be connected to this uh, point or it may be connected to ground so this uh, switch so either it is connected here so i so this sorry so this point so it is uh, either connected to this or it is connected to this so when it is connected to this that means a zero is coming here if it is connected to this then the contribution uh, the current flow contribution uh, Mm. Uh, actually, uh, so either the uh, either the connection is like this or the connection is like this. So if it is connected like this, then there is no contribution of this bit, and if it is connected like this, then it is uh, this this current flows in this fashion. Similarly, for the second bit, maybe it is connected like this. So as a result, this uh, does not have any contribution. No current contribution is coming. But if it is connected in this fashion, then again a current contribution like this will come. So then it is a summing type of structure. So that is uh, all right. So each bit corresponds to a switch. If the bit is high, the corresponding switch is connected to the inverting input of the operational amplifier. If the bit is low, the corresponding switch is connected to the ground. Okay. So it is uh, in this fashion it is connected. Okay. So, so this is the switch. So, either it is connected to the uh, inverting input of the op amp like this, or it is connected. If the bit is low, then it is connected. Uh, this is switch is connected to the ground. So, this way this connection is made. Now, so let us see how it works. Fine. So, uh, so if you look into say this part, then what is happening is that this V3 voltage, so there is a 2R, 2R, so these two resistances are there, so they are in parallel, so R equivalent is equal to R for this part. So the equivalent, so when this bit is uh, connected like this, so some part of the current will flow like this, some part of the current will flow like this, so you will get R equivalent equal to R. So now, uh, so uh, now if you consider this V2, okay. So V2 after that we have got this R, then V3, then this this part is equivalent to R as we have seen previously. So this part is equivalent to R. So this equivalent, so the V3 becomes half of V2. So V3 is equal to half of V2. In this way, if you continue, then V2 will turn out to be half of V1. V1 will turn out to be half of V ref and V out is equal to minus I into R, so that is there. So once you have got these values of V1, V2 and V3, so you can find out what is the value of I and accordingly you can get the V out value. So for example, in this case, uh, uh, the, so we have got V3 equal to uh, V3 equal to uh, 1 eighth of V ref, so, uh, so V1 is half of V ref, so V1 is half of V ref. V2 is half of V1 that is one fourth of V ref and V3 is half of uh, V2 that is one eighth of V ref. So this way we get it like this and then when this summing is done, when the summing is done then it is becomes minus R into B3 into V ref by 2R okay, plus uh, the B2 into V ref by 4R plus uh, B1 into V ref by 8R plus B0 into V ref by 16 R. So, by taking this uh, R equal to this uh, feedback equal to half of R, to R by 2. So, in this uh, structure, so it is assumed that this uh, feedback resistance, this R f equal to R by 2. That is why this expression becomes like this. Okay. So uh, B3 is connected to uh, so uh, so B3 is connected to B3 B, uh, B2 is B2 etc. So if bit n is set, then B n equal to one, and if bit n is cleared, then B n equal to zero. So in this fashion, we can have an R2 R ladder implemented, and it uh, gives the corresponding um, digital output. So we have got this V out. Is this is the final expression that we have. So V ref into uh, B3 into 1 by 2. So this taking that R f equal to R by 2. So we get it V ref equal to B3 into 1 by 2 plus B2 into 1 by 4, B1 into 1 by 8 plus B0 into 1 by 16. 
So, for general n bit R2R uh, ladder and or binary weighted uh, resistor uh, DAC. So, the, the equation becomes V out equal to minus V ref into sigma i equal to 1 to n B n minus i into 1 upon 2 to the power i. So, this is the final expression for any uh, DAC circuitry that we have which converts from uh, digital to analog value. So, why you should go for R 2 R ladder? So, advantage is the only two resistor values are necessary which is R and 2 R and does not require high precision resistors. So, only thing is that you need uh, so if for getting 2 R, so what we can do we can take one resistance and one type of resistance and connect two of them in series. So, we get 2 R. So, ideally you can say uh, only one single resistance is sufficient and you can just sometimes connect two of them, sometimes connect one of them to get the R 2 R configuration or you can get the exactly double of the resistance 1 K and 2 K and that way you can connect it. So, disadvantage is the low conversion speed than binary weighted DAC because of this uh, current uh, this uh, voltage uh, being decided by individual resistances and then um, so it becomes slower compared to this binary weighted DAC. When you are talking about uh, specification of a DAC, now there are several DACs that may be available in the market like if you are looking for a particular type of DAC. So, what are the factors that you should uh, talk about? One thing is the resolution, then the speed, uh, then the resolution we will come to this term, then speed of conversion, then how much linear it is, then the settling time, reference voltage and error. So, you look into these issues, then resolution it says the smallest analog increment corresponding to one LSB chain. So, the minimum amount of change that a DAC can do is by changing the LSB. So, if you change the least significant bit from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, there will either be increase or decrease in the uh, analog output. So, when you do this change, then what is the uh, corresponding analog voltage change? So, that is the resolution. So, that you cannot change the analog voltage by a value which is less than this one. So, that is the resolution. N bit resolution can resolve 2 to the power n distinct analog levels and so uh, basically uh, from one bit to one say bit sequence to the next bit sequence next digital uh, count uh, binary sequence if you go then what is the minimum change in the analog voltage so you cannot go uh, change beyond that so uh, so if you have got the reference voltage as vref then you know that there are 2 to the power n distinct analog levels that you can have so the resolution is given by vref divided by 2 to the power n so which is also known as the voltage corresponding to lsb change or vlsb so this is the expression for the resolution of the dac where n is the number of bits so common dacs they have got 8 to 16 bit of resolution uh, because for higher uh, higher resolution so i have to go for more number of bits and then the construction of the dac becomes difficult so normal dacs we go for 8 to 16 bit of resolution and depending upon the VREF, you can get the uh, final uh, analog voltage value by which it can change. 